everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be looking at a Bark Box. I haven't been doing a video just for Bark Box for a little while, but because I ordered some extra stuff this month, I wanted to go ahead and give it its own full video. If you've never heard of Bark Box, it is a pet subscription box for your dog. They have you fill out a quiz so they can find out about your dog that you're gonna be having the subscription for. They will ask you if you have multiple pets, the sizes of your pets, the kind of toys they like to chew, if they're the type of dog who just destroys everything or if they take care of their toys. I actually have one of each. I have one, I can't let her have toys very much because she just absolutely ruins them, <coughs> Rapunzel. And then I have Charming who absolutely loves all of his toys and takes very good care of them and treats them just so very well. You also can let them know what kind of allergies your pet has in case you don't want certain ingredients going into the treats that your pet will get. They have a lot of great things over at BarkBox. It starts at $23 a month and the price will continue to go up depending on if you add extras to your box and then also maybe depending on the size of your dog and the type of toys that they're gonna be getting. I have a small dog, ours starts at $23 and then I do pay an extra $7 each month to get the third extra toy. So it brings my total up to $31. My box will have one, two, two treats and three toys, but it'll actually have an additional four extra toys because every month or every couple of months, they'll come out with special edition toys that are not part of their monthly subscription. They're usually themed toys, popular themed stuff, and this time it was Harry Potter, and you know I couldn't pass that up. If you watch my channel on a regular basis, you already know how I feel about Harry Potter. And so I got some really cute Harry Potter stuff for my pets. I spent $40 on these extra toys, so it was about $10 a toy on average. And I would say that's pretty standard compared to the toy prices you see at the stores. They have good quality toys. A lot of them are multi-part toys. So it's like getting multiple toys in one. But I cannot wait to see how they turned out because all I have seen so far is pictures. Ooh, yeah. Dog astrology. That's a very interesting theme, dog astrology. I wonder what kind of regular monthly toys we're gonna get. But right on top, look at this. I have the monster book toy. Look at how cute it is. And it squeaks. Ooh, that's a high pitched squeak. <laughs> it opens up, it has the tongue slash bookmark part of the monster book. So cool. I love the texture of it. Hopefully Charming will love this toy. He is already curious about this toy. <laughs> okay, what other Harry Potter toys did I get you? Oh, I also got you a sorting hat, Charming. Yes. Look, it has a ball inside. <laughs> The sorting hat squeaks too. Guys, they put a ball in here that tells you which house your pet is gonna be in. <laughs> Charming's in Gryffindor, how cute. Charming does like balls as well. Isn't that right, Charming? Yes. It does say Gryffindor on the ball itself. Those are cute, and that's what I meant by multi-part toys, because obviously that one had a ball inside of the little hat, and the hat is super soft. All right, what else? Ooh, yes, so we have the Nimbus 2000. Love the different textures on this, and I don't know if there's a squeaky in here, but it has that different sounding toy. This is so cute. All these Harry Potter toys. I think there's one more Harry Potter toy. Which one is it? I think it's this one, yep. The Potions Class Pack. Three different type potions here. That one, that one, that one. <laughs> He's so excited. Oh my gosh, okay, I love the Harry Potter toys. The theme of them was so cute. They had more than this, but I decided this was enough. And these are ones that only Charming will get to play with. And maybe the younger puppies before they actually start chewing them up. I can't let Rapunzel have access to these because they will just be gone like that. Now we're getting to the actual subscription themed toys this month. And it looks like we have Aries. Oop, I guess if you're born between March 21st and April 19th, which I think Charming was. Feisty, spunky, and impulsive Aries always charge headfirst into adventure. It's a cute little dog toy. 
take, yeah, there's a squeaker in the head. What else do we have? This one is Leo, born between July 23rd and August 22nd. I have a son who is Leo, which actually, oh, I guess Lucas is an Aries too. And then Sean is a Leo, but this is cute, the little lion. This one also has a squeaker in the head. And then the last one that I have, it looks like a basket. It says Aquarius. And that's January 20th to February 18th. I don't think we have any birthdays that I know of in that section. And this one is a kind of a multi-part toy. It has the second part that's in there. And then it can squeeze down like that. Oh, and the treats, we have the Moo Moo Pies, soft baked biscuits with oatmeal and molasses. Snow is gonna absolutely love these treats. You want to love these treats, Snow? Yes. She wants to try one right now. Oh, yes, she does. She loves the treats. Yes, you love the treats. <laughs> Charming, you can have a treat too, even though you don't love them as much. She still eats them. Bag of chews, very standard to have bags of chews now. The last one is the Gobble Soft Bakes turkey recipe. I do believe we've had these before and I'm gonna let Snow and Charming try them out as well. They just kind of look like little cookies. That's it for the bark box. As far as the actual things that come aside from here over is what actually came in the box. This was special ordered extra toys. Barkbox does an amazing job at creating their own toys and themes and their toys are actually really good quality and so are their treats. So I definitely recommend that's it for today. Let me know your thoughts down below. Please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye everyone.